everybody. Welcome to Rogers Wranglers here in North Charleston. I'm Chad, one of the salesmen here, and also your videographer on site to show you all these wonderful Jeeps that we have for sale. Now, this is the 93 Jeep Wrangler Sahara YJ with just around 140,000 miles, 4.0 liter under the hood, leaf spring suspension. Anyways, we're going to walk around it real quickly today just to kind of reiterate that it's still out here for sale. We've had this Jeep for quite some time now. And uh, the price on the window is $99.90 or best offer. Um, this is a cash deal for somebody looking to get a little TJ, or not TJ, but a YJ. But anyways, what I'm getting at is uh, we've had it for a little while. It's time to sell it. So if you're out there looking for a Wrangler and you're a cash buyer, please come by and see this one. And we'll do the best we can to make you a great deal on it. Now, to start talking about it. I'll show you the current condition of the vehicle. And, uh, and if, if it has a few little issues with it, I'll point those out as well on camera. Now, condition-wise, as far as the cosmetics go of the car, it is in really good shape. I mean, it really is. It's clean, the paint looks nice, the interior looks great. You know, not everyone is a fan of the YJ with the square headlight. I actually am. I think it's a good-looking Wrangler. I love the front on the YJ, personally. I kind of like how these are a little longer and more squared off. You know, TJs are gonna have the round lights, but that front end right there to me really kind of shows the, the CJ5s and the CJ7s kind of coming through. So I kind of like that a little bit. As you can see on the, uh, the green YJ over there, which is really nice as well. But it's got the gold original color paint right here on the vehicle. It's got three stripes on the hood. This is vinyl. It probably could use some new vinyl on there, which would really look nice does have your all-terrain TA BF Goodrich tires. Not new tires. I mean, honestly, the tire tread on them has gotten worn down pretty good, and it is starting to dry rot, as you can see right in there. So I would assume that somebody buying this would need to get tires pretty fast after buying it, okay? But if you come to us and you say, look, I want to buy it, and we can work out a price, we might be able to get you a good deal on a set of tires as well for the Wrangler. But for the most part, body's in decent shape. It does have a tan hard top. It's in pretty good condition. It doesn't have a bunch of rust underneath it. And I'll put the camera under there in just a few here to let you see that. It does burn a little bit of oil, as you can see in the back tailpipe. Okay, so it does burn some oil. It's an older Wrangler. You got to remember that, folks. Even though the mileage isn't too bad at around 140,000 miles or so, it is a 93, so it's well over 20 years old now does have the tow package the factory stock back bumper a lot of people are going to ask this question if they're going to buy it does it come with the back seat no it does not when we purchased this wrangler it was just like this it didn't have a back seat in it the previous owner obviously took it out but it looks really nice it's got all new carpet in here really nice looking interior inside this jeep so it does not come with a back seat but talk to us maybe we can find a back seat for you and get one added in here okay but i've had a lot of people say doesn't come with a back seat now not at the moment it doesn't we do not have a back seat that matches the two front seats on this yj only little blemish on the outside i see is right here obviously somebody must have tried stepping on that in the past and kind of messed up the paint a little bit right there again this is polyurethane not fiberglass so that's why it didn't crack out and break but the paint could be resprayed right in there if needed be Interior's in good shape. Cosmetically, this is broken on the inside. Not cosmetic, but anyways, that's broke. The little handle there. It could be fixed. Just order a new one, get that on. But other than that, the interior is in pretty nice shape. I like the interior color for me personally, but everybody has their own taste. But it goes nicely with the uh, gold on the outside. Steering wheel looks good. The horn still works. Four wheel drive right there. I have not tested it out personally does have an aftermarket CD player and right now currently the air conditioner does not blow cold on it so you may need to get that recharged or see what's going on but right now the AC is not working and we have to put it in our shop back there and see what we can do to get the AC blowing cold in it I do remember when we first got this Wrangler it did have cold blowing AC so that tells me it's got a leak in the system somewhere and when there's a leak somewhere it's coming out so something needs to be fixed all right let's scooter proof down in the road and see how the little puppy drives when we get back, we'll pop the hood. 
Thank you for watching with me here on Rogers Wranglers dealership and here on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you're watching. RPM gauge does work, as you can see there. I'm pretty sure the speedometer works, the caution lights work, as you can tell. You pull this little lever out and it cuts them off, push it in, cuts them on. Um, headlight switch is right over here, headlights do work. It is a little warm inside the car right now. The fans are blowing, but they're blowing hot air. So we're gonna turn that down and off. That's the original. Um, these do seem to work. As you can see, the oil moves when I revved it up a second ago. So all that seems to be in pretty decent shape. Does have, it is automatic on the column. Okay. I have driven this car several times with people. The transmission shifts nice and smooth. So we haven't really had any problems with that. Mirrors are kind of small, but they do get the job done. And uh, the hard top's nice because it keeps it a little quieter on the inside. And uh, you don't have to worry about getting any water leaking in or anything like that. Brakes feel good as well. I like these little side mirrors. You can take them and kind of, well, <laughs> We'll do that later. Anyways, we're trying to drive right now, Mr. Chad. Oh, the wipers do work, as you can see. And they go in that position right there. I've had people ask, do they go all the way down? Uh, maybe they do, but not right now. Um, acceleration is okay. I mean, it's not super fast when you hit the gas. I didn't hit it all the way down to the floor, but it does get up and drive. It feels pretty good. Suspension feels pretty normal. It's not real noisy in here either. As I always tell everybody, if you're in the market for a Jeep Wrangler and you're in the Carolinas or even out of state, please visit us. We do carry a lot of these out here at our store and um, we sell many other types of vehicles as well but Jeeps is kind of a specialty that the owner decided to get into several years ago. And uh, he's a fanatic when it comes to buying Jeeps and selling them and driving them and off-roading them. So it's been a hobby for him. And uh, you know, it's turned into a business for us, which has been really good. But as you can see, it's driving great. Just got up to 50 mile an hour. Nothing feels out of place. Um, steering feels to be pretty good. It's not all over the road, so suspension's good. You know, this one's not jacked up real high or anything like that, so uh, it doesn't have a massive lift kit. I think this has got pretty much just a leveling kit on it, and um, so it drives really good for the most part. I think this would be pretty good for somebody out there looking for a, a nice, clean Jeep Wrangler at a, still an affordable price. All right, guys, come on down to see us at Rogers Wranglers. I'm Chad again. If you got any more detailed questions or anything, please uh, get in touch with me. 843-552-1330. And uh, like we said, we're going to pop the hood real quick. And let's take a peek under there. <laughs> You're going down here, but it's, it's right there like a truck. inline straight six motor a little dusty under here still seems to be running pretty good you got the jack underneath the hood there's your battery air filter box power steering and all that but um do got a little rust going on right there and on some of the parts underneath the vehicle under the hood so I mean it does have some a little bit of rust and corrosion underneath the hood take a look under here so we got a rough country uh, stabilizer bar which is nice And we got some cobwebs under there. Ah. A 
hope this video has been helpful to some of y'all that are shopping with us online. As you can see, now that we've driven the car down the road a little bit, that little bit of smoke that we had coming out the back when we first cranked her up out here today has now gone away. All right, thank you for watching. Come see us at Rogers Wranglers. Please hit the like button on Facebook and subscribe to the channel. I try to film and upload videos every day of all the different types of Jeeps and other vehicles that we have for sale. Again, come visit us right here in North Charleston, South Carolina. Thanks for watching.